This is my 48th year of coaching high school and college football. I've never seen a running back that could have a ball in one hand, get rid of a kid with another hand, cross the field and score a touchdown. Touchdown, Creel, second of the night. That's a, t that's a Dylan Creel special right there. It's really hard to ask for much better from this East Noble football team. The Knights, 5-1 and one on the year, headed into week seven, and a big part of the team's success story comes from the help of Dylan Crail. When he hits the field, we need to get a yard, we need a big play. You know who we're going to is Dylan Creel. He's just the real deal. Crail also stands apart as a leader to the team. When I say like you can't ask for a better role model, that's the truth. He's, he's a great person on and off the field. There's a lot of good advice. I mean, he, he really lifts you up, but he's also not afraid to get into you when you're making mistakes and your head's not in the right place. Overall, uh, Dylan's, he, he's a great leader in our program. He's a captain. Um, he's a unanimous player voted for captain this year. Our players picked the captains, and every single player on our team voted for Dylan Crail. And he, he's a phenomenal player for us, great leader. Um, on the field, it's like having another coach on the field. He's very football smart. He's one of the most football smart kids I've ever coached. Despite his stunning on-field performance this year, he's quick to shed praise onto his teammates. They mean the world to me. I mean, I give each and every one of them credit every interview I do because I love those guys, and without those guys, I'm nothing. I'm not half the athlete I am today. As for the team's end goal, well, the answer is simple. State championship. I mean, everyone says that's their end goal, but this year we really believe that we can finally make it to Lucas Oil and make something special out of this season. But we're just taking it week by week right now.